Hey fellow scrappers and scrappers, how are we all doing this afternoon? This is actually take two because the uh, video decided to want to play a little game and not work properly. So, this is what we're looking to work on today. Looking to work on kicking out these staters. The staters, yeah. Yeah, transformers. Not staters, transformers. From the uh, gym light project, I got about 25 of these things all over the place. I don't have much room in my uh, tool crib, so stack them wherever I can, but I'm going to start kicking them out of here. So these are 50-50s. Got 50 copper. Well, not really, but believe it or not, this little piece right here weighs a pound and a half. And this weighs a pound. So it shows you the value. Copper, aluminum, prepared steel. So when you want to bust into these, some people just go ahead and start smashing I take a couple extra steps and I just go ahead and I grind out the seams. So I'm going to grind out the seam here on the top. Right here, you see the weld. I'm just going to go ahead and take my grinder. So I'm going to go on the inside of the weld here, on this side here. Then we're going to take it over. Oh, look, there's another one. I got a metal plate, quarter inch thick, clamped to the edge of my bench so I don't take chunks out of my wood bench. And I'm gonna go ahead, slide it over a little bit so the bottom seam is hanging off the edge and give it a nice old whale right here with a five pound hammer. And hopefully the goal is to bust that right off. So, that's what we're looking to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. So I'm gonna set up the tripod here. Hopefully uh, I can get it so people can see what I'm doing. Sorry about the mess. I got my little shroud right here that I made. I've got a vent in there. I'll turn the fan on. It's all right. I have safety glasses. And I have hearing protection on. So we can go ahead and uh, grind that off. Got to wear hearing protection, a little loud. I got gloves. So that's the goal. So like I said, I'm going to look at the seam. going to see where the seam is. Turn the light on here. Get a little more light in the crib. See what we're doing. Let's hope we ground that down enough. Let's hope Jay can find his five pound hammer. All right, JC, what'd you do with the hammer? All right, a little bit of technical difficulties. Oh, there she is. Oh, on the floor from the stainless steel project. So like I said, I'm gonna bring it right to the edge right here so that seam is hanging off the quarter. So, now what we're left with is the piece right here in the center. So I got myself a couple of 4x4s that I made a little jig with. Hopefully they'll fit right here. No, looks like they're not going to fit. So, let's see if we can refocus our setup here. Move everybody over this way. Yeah, that might work. Get that out of the way. Move the mess out of the way. Bring our four by fours over. See, we got a good visual. Yeah, we do. Not too too bad. So, we got this, go ahead, set it up so the copper and the aluminum 
are on the outer, so that's actually a brace, and then this right here is on the inside. Actually looking pretty good. Then I got this my favorite guy right here. There's the copper. There's the aluminum. So there's that. There's your aluminum. There's your aluminum. There's your copper. There's your prepared steel. Yeah, a couple more pieces here. Here we go. There's your prepared steel. So you saw how long that took me. It took me longer. Why? Because I'm trying to show you folks. A lot of other people have different ways of doing it. Some put them in a splitter. Some do it, you know. Who knows how other people do it? I've actually seen people use a cutting torch to slice the edges off. This works for me. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll peel this part here off on the end, which is where the, uh, the wires connect. That in the trash. Here we go. Nice copper right there. Let's show the shiny. There's the nice shiny copper right there. Hopefully you can see it in reflection. Hopefully we're getting it. And then this here, like it says, aluminum. That'll be silver. And what's funny, this weighs more than aluminum. So you're going to know if you have a copper transformer or an aluminum transformer. The all copper transformer is going to weigh a lot more than the aluminum. That is fact. This is tw what? Almost three times two? It's three times the size as one piece of copper. And this is actually a pound and a half. I've already broken a pot. I've already weighed them. And this is Nine tenths of a pound. It's almost a pound. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to try to knock out, you know, a bunch of them. Throw these in the number two. Folks, have a great day. Please leave it better than you found it. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Hopefully, I can bring you some more stuff in the future. Gonna to try to post a couple times a week. Trying to do night finds, show you folks that, and hopefully, uh, you know, I can be informative. Suggestions are great. And oh, by the way, if anybody watched yesterday's video from last night, sirens are already sold. They're already gone. Made a few phone calls, boom, gone. All right, folks, scrappers and scrapettes, thank you very much for watching. And have yourself a good night.